It was pretty chilly out here this morning, so the uh, conrods were really cold and I didn't think I was going to be able to get the uh, bushings pressed into them. So what I've done is I've connected, I've put my hot air gun directed out towards the end of the conrods and using my trusty digital laser thing. Yeah, uh, 149 degrees. That one's that one's 142. They're cooling down quite rapidly now, so I'll try and get them pressed in as quickly as I can. So I'm going to give the first one a go off camera, and then I'll get back to it and I'll show you the second one. That was one done. I had to stick the hot air gun on them again to warm them right back up again. So I'm going to do the second one. What you've got to make sure you do is, I don't know if you can see that, there's a seam there in the uh, seam. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a seam there in the um, bushing. You don't want that anywhere near any of the oil holes. There's three on these cotton rods. So the best thing to do is to put it sort of like in between two of them. Pick two and then just put it, get it in there started. And that will sit in there nicely. And then just use your vice. Bearing in mind these are bloody hot because I've had the uh, hot air gun on them. But get them going. And they press in quite nicely. Yeah, new bushings in. Shaved a bit of the uh, outside of bushing off but as that cools down that will clamp on there nice and tight and then I'll be able to ream it to size so I'm going to do the other two and then I'll show you when that's done Just uh, use the hot air gun to heat up the end of the comrades because it's so cold in here this morning. The uh, bushings just weren't pressing in very easy. So just expand them a little bit. And I'll move you around there so you can see the vice. And I'll push in another one and then you can see how that works. So cold bushings, hot comrades. Hopefully you can hear me. Right, so take your bushing and then don't know if you can see that seam there. You don't want that on one of these holes, but you also don't want it at the bottom because of um, don't know the way it moves or something. So. What you do is you put it, put the seam in between two oil holes, so right in the middle there. And then all you've got to do, oh, I've got my finger caught up in the wire there. All you've got to do is just put that in.
open up the vise so they fit in there. Close that down. And then just oh, I can feel it actually cooling down. It's getting a bit tighter. So let's get this done. And pushing you always get because you can't push them in flat doing it this way so you get a little lip but that doesn't cause doesn't cause that many issues so that's third one now I'll do the last one again the uh, seam in between I think I might have to warm this up a little bit more. No, no, that should be alright. There we go. Right. Come on. There we go. That's it. Right. Get that done. them all rebushed. So they all have new bushings in. I've got to let them cool down properly. But there we go. All nice new shiny bushings and they're all down as level as I can go. So, that's that done. Uh, I'm not going to ream, ream them today. I'm going to leave them to cool down properly. I'll probably take them inside so they cool down to room temperature. And then I'll give them a go when I've got them at a, a proper normal temperature. So that's it for today. Another quick five minute video. And uh, I'll see you. Oh, oh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.